Hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, lovely to see you all. Um, some familiar faces and some not so familiar faces, but lovely. Happy New Year, everybody. Great to see you. Um, so, um, right, where are we? Here we go. So lots of people coming in, which is exciting. Um, I'm going to just mute you all, just if you're not muted, so that we can... Um, Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Adrian, as I go along. Hi, Meg. Hi, Emma. Gail. Uh, right. Now, um, if you are not so familiar with Canva, because we're going to do this on Canva, um, Bianca, who is my wonderful VA who's in the Philippines, is so Bianca just did a little hand wave. She will um, she will be there to help you if you need any help with um, with Canva or anything. So you can just message her so you can see Bianca. And um, I will just um, so you Bianca is there. She's check out the chat and um, she just said hello to everybody. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is um, I will we're going to go through some questions. Um, let me just add. Everybody's coming in. We've got a few more people joining, which is wonderful. Goodness, right. OK, let's just. I'm doing admit all and then I get more keep coming, uh, which is lovely. OK, so um, I'll just make sure that everybody's on mute. Um, now, um, if we I think so, if you can mute yourself, if you're not muted already and um, and then um, if. Um, as much as possible. Um, what we're going to try and do is we'll crack through so we can um, get everybody get thinking about um, where they're at, what their dreams and goals are and aspirations for um, for 2023. It's crazy, isn't it? We're in 2023. So the first thing I want you to think about, I'm going to bring up some slides and I'm going to get you thinking about um, you know where you're at and um, you know just we can start off um, by really looking at our social media feed. because if you um, if you have an understanding of um, of your social media this is going to help you with some of the things that we're going to do um, that we um, that um, that we do going forward okay so just have a look at like how many followers you have whether that's on Facebook or Instagram or you know what LinkedIn wherever your main platform is um and so that you can um you know really just use that as a as a good um thing that you can add onto your vision board for your business plus all the other things we're going to talk about okay um so um, I want you to have a look at that, but we're going to do some slides. We'll go through the slides. OK, so here we are. Um, hopefully all of you um, use no Canva. We'll go to the beginning. Here we are. So let's bring up these. And here we go. So. I'm excited for this first session of 2023. We're going to do a vision board workshop. And with this, you're going to create a vision board for your phone and for your laptop. OK, so I'm going to give you the template so you can do it and you can you know, go, go away and build on it. But we're going to start in this session. OK, so but we want to start with a few questions so that you can really add those into your vision board. Um, so um, one of the key things with a vision board is you want to be as specific as possible. And so that means really being clear about 
what you want, okay? So rather than having wishy-washy goals, being really clear to say, oh, this is what I really want to do. Um, and, um, you know, when you, when you have that understanding, it really helps you, okay? So what do you really want? And we're gonna, and we're gonna look at those um, questions that you may have, things that you want to do, goals that you want to achieve. Maybe you've already done that. We're gonna start off, first of all, I mentioned about thinking about your numbers. So if you have a business, where are you in your business right now? So just have a quick look at your numbers on whether that's on LinkedIn or whether that's on um, Facebook or Instagram, wherever you may be. And look at those, those numbers so that you, um, you know exactly where you are, okay? And, and also at the same time, I'm just trying to mute, make sure everyone's muted. Um, also, um, take a screenshot of your social media, okay? So that means having an image of where you are right now with your social media, okay? Because we're gonna play around with where you want to be, but it's great to have just a screenshot. So it could be on your desktop, on your um, on your phone, of your social media, because we're going to play around with those numbers. So rather than it being, I know a thousand people following you on LinkedIn, we're gonna we're gonna add on some extra zeros. Okay. Hello, everyone just joining. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do um, as we go into this session, we're just looking at your numbers. So your numbers on social media, um, whether that's LinkedIn or Instagram, just take a screenshot of your profile on those platforms, okay? And keep those, because we're gonna use them on your vision board. Now I want you just to jot down what numbers you would like where you'd like to be with your social media following in um in the coming um you know in the next few weeks and months where would you like to be you know what kind of um following would you like to have and I want you to dream big okay this isn't just like oh I'm going to add on 10 new people it's I'm going to go for it this year in my business Okay, and now we're gonna just do, now we've done that kind of, I always feel that's a bit granular. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna go into some feelings for 2023. So how do you want to feel in 2023? What, what words do you want to describe for yourself? It may be that you want to have more fun, more passion. Maybe you want to, um, get more joy in your business maybe you want um to achieve maybe it's you feel like this is the year to you know really make some traction in your business and you are um you're wanting if you're just coming in do you mind putting yourself on mute just at hi elizabeth i can see you i know you popped out um and um hi barb i'm just putting you on mute um Let's just, okay, so um, so think about how you want to feel. What emotions do you want to have? Certainly for me, this year is all about fun. So last year, my word of the year was flow. And I wanted to feel like I was really in flow. This year, I actually want to have fun. I'm going to, I'll talk a bit more about that when I get to vision board stage. But so what words do you want to describe for you? Um, 
And what do you need to do in order to feel that way? So for me, my idea of fun this year is I really want to travel lots. So I'm booking in lots of mini adventures. So I've decided on a list of places that I want to go visit this year. And I'm going to revisit all the places that I have used to live in. I grew up in Berlin. I've not been back for probably 10 years. Um, and Prague, I want to revisit. I used to live in Paris. So there's lots of places that I really have great sentimental connections to me that I want to go and revisit. Um, so I'm going to have, I'm planning out, um, I'm planning out two trips a month. Um, two two trips a month I should say um, a trip a month not two trips a month and so um, that's that's very much like I'm doing um, um, all of the um, uh, having all of the adventures that's what I'm about this year so that's so that's how I'm going to have more fun So I'd love to hear in the chat what you're thinking of as your adventures, what you'd like to do. And um, maybe there's an inspiring place you want to go to. It might be it's a big trip or goal. Um, it might be it's a goal for the year. Maybe it's a financial goal. Um, perhaps it's... Um, you know, something fun you want to do. I definitely want to um, do things like my brother's. Um, he loves doing Ironman competitions. Crazy, I know. He's done 16. He's been to the world championships. I mean, he's a bit of a nutcase. And so, but he has definitely said to me, well, why don't you come and do a half Ironman with me? I'm still like, oh my God, do I think I can manage it? But it's it's certainly I'm putting it out there as something I'm thinking about. I don't know if I can quite manage it, but I'll see. Um, <laughs> might be too ambitious for me. But I, you know, but oh, I'm seeing this lovely marathons, destination race, loving that um stillness flow and integration from elizabeth love that um chris jordan wants to start a new a couple of new sustainability projects um gail says how did i find my flow last year do you know what i felt like i'd especially during the pandemic i felt like i was in that push mentality and i had been it was very much about like driving lots of different businesses and building lots of different projects. And I just wanted to take a step back and really feel in flow. Um, and for me, that was, I, I did um, a lot of um, Reiki, which really helped me find my flow and just doing things like, you know, things I love. So running, journaling, swimming, um, I, I do meditation every day. So things like that to, that really can help you with finding that flow. Miranda says she's moving to Berlin this summer. Wonderful. Okay. So, um, Sabine says, I want to feel excited, thrilled, and empowered. I love that. Oh, yeah. Meg, health, well being, lots of holidays in the Dales. Um, oh, get your products into the National Trust. That would be wonderful. Claire says, I want to create a successful new business, move to our forever home. Connecting is my word of the year. Oh, yes. Susan says, I want to feel confident, happy and engaged with people, friends, clients, family and community. Lovely. Chris says, I want to feel optimistic, hopeful and secure. Wonderful. Okay, so these are great. Now, I'd love to hear about your biggest, scariest goal that you'd love to make happen. And yes, you can do this. So what's that big goal that you have? What's that big dream? And be specific about it. Okay, so um, is it that for me, one of the things that I really want to do this year I have bought a new camera that I'm going to do. So I'm going to do a lot more YouTube videos this year. 
And I normally do one a week, but I'm going to really up my game. I'm going to do more YouTube this year. So I'm going to do definitely two a week, um, possibly more. I'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm going to put my last year, I really put my energy into LinkedIn and it paid off and I'll still continue to do that. But I want to go back to I've always loved um, YouTube and I'm going to go back to YouTube a bit more. So, you know, it depends where you're, where's that, where's that goal? What's that big, scary thing that you want to achieve? I would love to get to, you know, 100,000 followers on YouTube. That's where I'd really like to get to. Um, Susan says, quit my nine to five and be more available for your kids. Yes, love that. Sheila says, launch an online course. Gigi, I want to retire from my job. Um, Emma says, win a very substantial client, have the opportunity to pitch to later this month. Yes, got that. Um, Jackie says, do a TED talk, write the book. Lynn, take action, stop procrastinating and start my business. Laura says, I want to be paid $5,000 to, to speak in front of a hunt. A thousand plus people. Great. Steph, launch a travel based business alongside my VA business. Susan, big goal, launch my YouTube channel and create videos. Great. So these are really good goals to be thinking about. OK, so and, and that's why it's great. Everyone sharing in the chat because it might make you think, oh, yeah, I'd like to do that. OK, so um, now think about an experience that you want to have. It might be learning a new hobby. Um, I definitely want to get better at DIY this year. I bought myself like a drill and a drill set. I'm a bit scared to start using it. And um, I, I there's lots of things I need to do. Um, I always, thank goodness, I have this amazing handyman who I can just text and say, can you come and help me? And he comes and helps me. But I really want to be, I want to be like, so that I don't have to wait for him to come and solve a problem. I can do it myself. Um, but it might be something like, um, you know, taking up crafting or, swimming with sharks or whatever it may be. I definitely want to do things that scare me this year. Last year, I started driving again, which I was terrified about. And I can't believe how much energy I put into being terrified of that. Because once I started doing it, it's like, it's fine. It's what I'm worried about. And so, you know, so whatever it may be, that's your thing. Um, let's have a look. Um, Siobhan says, create a large collection and hold a solo exhibition. Yes. Yes. And oh my God. Okay. I have known Siobhan for many, many years. We met in Thailand and Siobhan's artwork is the best. I like, seriously, it's beautiful. Um, so if you're looking for new paintings, for your house, definitely recommend she's beautiful um okay so Gigi I want to expand my beekeeping hobby oh love that more horse riding says Emma yes I actually horse riding that's I I did have that as my kind of thought and I haven't put that on my list I I put piano I want to learn the piano um Sandra finally get my driving license and start driving yes more weekends away hiking I want to be in a summit with Dr. Goodball Marta yes Meg, hone my painting skills, have my work in galleries. Oh, yes. Go skiing for the first time, says Jackie. Oh, oh my goodness. I was petrified of that and I swore lots, but it is fun. Um, Matt says travel abroad for a Man United game. Oh, my goodness. My brother will be jealous. Um, Claire says continue my ukulele lessons after COVID, but I miss it. Mandy wants to go skiing too. So all of these things that might inspire you. Um, I like as a kid, I never did ballet and I didn't do um, piano lessons. So I want to I, I want to actually, you know, learn to dance. I think I'll be terrible, but I'm just going to do it anyway. And the same with piano. I'm not very musical, but I'd like to just have that knowledge. Some even if it's just, you know, really beginner basic level. Laura says play guitar in public with a group. Oh, yes. Mandy, I want to get my book of poems published. And Mandy is all over LinkedIn with her poems. And that's wonderful. Yeah, you can self-publish though, Mandy. Um, that sounds brilliant. Yay. Um, so there's so many different things that we all have these amazing opportunities. And, um, you know, what's the biggest, scariest goal? 
that you're going, oh, we've done that, sorry. Okay, so your social media goal. So where are you right now on social media and where would you like to be? So you have wrote down those numbers. Where would you like to be? So really getting clear about what you want to achieve on social media, because if you're going to grow your business, social media is such a huge part of that. And I know when I speak from real experience on this, that actually if you try and spread yourself too thin and you try and go for like everything, it doesn't work. So just put your energy into one platform. It's less overwhelming and you will make better connections and friendships. Like I decided, I went all in beginning of 2022 into LinkedIn and um, lots of people here on LinkedIn. And I know you because of LinkedIn, a lot of you. And that is, um, you know, that's, it's a wonderful place to be. Or maybe it's YouTube's have been saying, want to go from 265, 256 followers to, to a thousand. Um, or Gail wants to grow on LinkedIn, wherever that may be. So, you know, it's using those opportunities to say, where are you going to grow? And just don't try and do everything. Just do one thing um, because it's so much easier. But what I will say, and I say this a lot, is that it is much, much easier when you look at the algorithms to grow on LinkedIn than it is on, say, Instagram or Facebook. So if you're going to start from scratch, I'd say the easiest place to start from scratch is to go with um, somewhere like LinkedIn or TikTok. Um, Gigi says, would like to start a YouTube channel or paid subscription. I need to get over my fear of going live. Well, on YouTube, you don't have to go live. Okay. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Can I ask a quick question? Yes, yeah, sure. Go for it. Yeah. Um, if I have 399 followers, followers on LinkedIn and 356 connections, is just like adding a zero to that? Would that be? Because I have no idea. I want to set a goal that it's not that I. I just don't know what to set there. So it is perfect. So at the moment, I am growing by about a thousand followers a month. So. Um, you know, you can absolutely grow. And then suddenly, I think you get to about 20,000 and you start growing by more and more. So um, <clears throat> it's, um, you know, 500, so, 500 a month would be. Yeah, you, you can absolutely. So that can be a good realistic starting point. And then you can, you know, it, you will start growing more and more. But being consistent and um, being consistent showing up, posting daily, um, and also commenting, even if you don't have time to post every day, com comment on other people's posts. I don't send out, Matt's just asking, am I sending out connection requests? I'm not doing that. I should do that. If you've got time to do that, do that as well. But um, I, it's just from my content. That's where it's coming from. Um, but I probably should send out connections as well. So if you've got time to do that as well, you're going to grow faster. Um, so, you know, but the best way to do that is Leah Turner is the best one to follow on this. But, um, you know, create a post and, and then, you know, or, or comment on people's posts and then connect with them rather than just sending a spammy kind of message, um, you know, give um, valuable insight onto their post, say something worthwhile, and then connect with them. Um, so it's, you know, it, it, that, um, that makes a big difference for connections. Can I ask another question? Yes. I don't I know to social media, but yes. So um, no, this is, I just, it's just kind of it. So I know out in the world of summit world, there's kind of like a list, the email list, you have to have this many people on your email list to be considered to be on a summit. Do you know what that number is? It depends on the summits. Okay. Um, I get asked to be on summits and, you know, like I had somebody saying, oh, you have to have over 5,000 on, okay. you know, 50,000 on my email list. But I had, you know, I get people saying you have to have over 5,000 on your email. All right. Awesome. So, um, so yeah. So I think, but, but building on LinkedIn is it is an easier way to build right now than other platforms. TikTok is also brilliant. 
um, you know, but decide where your audience is. Okay, so I don't want to spend too long on social media, so we'll just, we'll keep going. Um, okay, so how are you going to make yourself proud this year? What are you going to do that uh, when you get to the, your future self, and one of the things that I really love to do, and maybe you might do this a little later on, is to send yourself an email to your future self. And there's um, a futureself.org website where you can you can literally um, write yourself an email that you you receive in the future. Um, but you know, just think if you got to the end of the year, what would you like to have achieved? What would you feel proud of yourself for achieving? And I'll just give you a couple of minutes to, to really write that down and think, what would you like to do that is going to make a real difference to you personally this year? Elizabeth, oh, about to board to Bogota. Oh, lucky you. I really want to visit Colombia. Oh, I'm jealous. Have an amazing trip, Elizabeth. Um, Sabine, um, create consistency through, um, through weekly YouTube videos. So Sabine, maybe she says it's hard to create consistency. So one of the ways you can do that is by batching. So have a good day where you're feeling up to it and then record a bunch of videos on one day. And then it means you can schedule those for the days when you're having off days. Um, Gail says run a 5K. Lynn says, overcome my anxiety of starting my business by taking action, starting your business now. Absolutely, start now. Um, another tip, oh, Susan's got this one, is to put one good thing that happened to you, you achieve per week in the jar at the end of the year, read them to remind yourself what a great year it was. Oh, I love that. I, I have to say, and I don't have it here, but I have a jar full of messages that I tell myself and when I'm, you know, it's like a cookie jar. So when I'm having one of those days where I'm having a down day, I pull out my little, you know, and these are little pep talks on um, and they make me feel so magical. It's like it's a great way um, to to make yourself feel better. OK, so. um more time for me, love this. Siobhan says, by setting my goals and achieving them. Um, during Twixmas 2023, I want to lie on a sun lounger somewhere hot, looking back on a successful solo exhibition, another successful art show, having learned to, how to horse ride. Oh, Siobhan, I love those. Great. Maybe I can come with you and sit on that sun lounger with you. Um, okay, so uh, Meg wants to have my art represented in a gallery, um, hit financial goals to buy a new car, finish my home in my own designs this year. Bar, proud that I lost 15 pounds and exercise regularly. Love this. Gertrude, more confident on social media. Dr. Annie, publishing my book and media appearances. Gigi, start receiving passive income. Jackie, have regular income from my coaching clients and pay, repay the kindness and support of family and friends. These are all wonderful. Okay. And what makes you happy? How are you going to do more of this? So what's the thing that really lights you up, gets you excited, and makes you happy? So for me, it was very much about simplicity, actually. I just, I stripped my life back completely last year. And, and I realized the things that make me happy are going for a daily run, 
going to yoga classes. I don't, I live in the middle of nowhere, so I don't manage every day to yoga, which I used to do. Um, but I, you know, going, I'll go later on today. Um, and I love going swimming and then hanging out with my son doing Playmobil, honestly, hours of Playmobil or Lego or whatever it may be. And it's the simple things. So it doesn't have to be, um, you know, I know we're in this time of, you know, there's there's a lot going on in the world. There's a lot of uncertainty and people unsure about their financial situation. But actually, a lot of happiness comes from the simple things. Spending time with your family and friends. Maybe it's having, like, I really want to walk um, the Cotswold Way. I live in the Cotswolds in the UK and there's this kind of, um, it's it's basically a walk. I did it, God, about 15 years ago and it was it took me five days. We did, uh, I think we were doing about 60K a day. And I want to do that again with, um, so I said to a friend of mine the other day, should we do that? And, you know, so it's spending time doing things you love, whether it's with your family, your friends, um, you know, having that flexibility in your life. Elizabeth says, I want more stillness and simplicity. Yeah. Um, exercise is great. Um, Lynn says, I'm happy when I'm outdoors with friends, when I'm traveling, find joy in reading and just sitting on my deck. Beautiful. Chris, Chris says happy equals many small things in life on a daily basis. A great coffee, a run, reading, meditation, um, talking with friends, achieving small goal, goals and letting things flow. Yeah. Sheila walking my dog. Oh, I want to get a dog. That's on my list. Being with friends and family, enjoying every day as it comes. More outdoor walking, says Gertrude. Time with family, friends, grandchildren. Meg, happiness is being in my beautiful garden, seeing friends, losing weight and getting ha healthy this year. Lots of walks and holidays. Sandra, running, great coffee, enjoying nature, not being cold. Yes, all of those. Um, Sabine, really deep nurturing conversations. Kim, more time crafting. Mandy, I'm moving this month. I want to ho host wonderful barbecue parties in the summer on my new terrace. Oh, I love that. Um, yeah, just having those friends and that connection. Laura, more realizing what a miracle I already am. Oh, that is beautiful. I love that. That's a great, that's a great comment to put on your vision board. I might put that on mine too. I love that. Happiness is treating my daughter, family and friends. Okay. So complete the sentence. I really want to. So what do you really want to do this year? You can add this to your vision board. So Adrian says more time with friends and family by skiff to explore our canal, community active activism for addiction recovery. Chris says, make an impact. Siobhan says, happiness to me is with people I love, meeting new people, clutter-free and ordered home, pre preparing nutritious food for me and my loved ones, painting and painting and painting. Love that. So Siobhan, um, I've mentioned before, so she, um, you know, had a corporate life and now is following her dream as working as a painter. And um, you know, that's the thing, we can all follow our dreams. Dr. Annie says, share my knowledge and expertise. Lynn, find more joy and love in my life. Oh, love that. Mandy says, I need to love myself first before, I, before anyone else. Sabine, overcome my last big hurdle, fear of going into visibility. Gail, get more control of my life. Live independently. Okay. Your dream year. So spend a couple of minutes writing out what your dream year looks like. What's that vision that you have for your dream year? It might be more travel. It might be, be really specific, like somewhere you want to go, like how you're going to spend your days. 
and what you're going to do, who you're going to be with. Sandra says, I really want to travel to see my friends overseas, surprise my best friend for her 50th birthday. Fantastic. Put that on the vision board. So you've got a picture of her and, you know, her birthday. And I'm going to show you how you do that so we can, you know, start playing around. Um, because that's how you it starts becoming a reality. So I'll let you just write out that vision for your future, your dream year. So certainly for me, my dream year is very different to the kind of probably aspirations I had a couple of years ago. Like before it was very much, it was much more, it's kind of much more sort of masculine energy of like, oh, I want these revenue goals. And, and I actually, like, I don't care about that stuff so much anymore. I just, I, you know, I obviously want to make money and be profitable and successful and all of those things. But actually it's just, about really having fun, enjoying my life. So, you know, to me, having these little trips, um, having as much fun as possible, connections with my friends, um, you know, just a different life. And that's absolutely possible. So, you know, success doesn't have to be in that sort of very kind of almost masculine way that we, you know, we must do this thing or, you know, and I certainly... Um, you know, I, I used to have a really big team and lots of employees and I hated, I absolutely hated, you know, I, I found myself not doing things. I found myself sort of just, it was more about managing people to do things rather than actually just doing it. And I realized that I missed the doing. And so um, I have stripped everything back and um, it's, and I'm much, much happier. So, um, you know, doing, um, you know, it might be your version of success is, is simpler. It's just, it's easier. It's more in flow. Um, Mandy says, meet new people. Yes, that's definitely on my list. I sort of, I moved to Gloucestershire during the pandemic. And while well, I've certainly met people through, um, uh, for me through you know being a parent and things I definitely want to do more volunteering this year that's that's really on my list um so meeting more people Sarah says I hated managing people all day yeah <laughs> it's like, yeah so yeah it's um I you know I as a I was when I was a journalist and I sort of became a, an editor and managed people and I did it but Oh, I'd much rather write stories than manage <laughs> manage people writing their stories. Um, so it's the same thing. Um, Susan says, my dream year is getting back 42 days, years spent in a commune currently and spend that time with my kids instead, enjoy their laughter and hugs. Oh, yes. Um, Gertrude says, more consistent in my business reconnect with relatives in the USA, get a v to, VA to do all the things holding me back in my business, more short trips per month. Now, I think Claire, who's on today's call, is setting up her VA business. So and there might be other people doing the same thing. So maybe you should, two should connect. Um, more short trips. Wonderful. Well, let's um, hope we have lots of adventures doing those. Lynn, my dream year will be filled with fun, joy and love, the adventures. Leave me, um, 
Um, Nazia says, I want to spend the summer holiday with my boy in Vietnam and Thailand. Oh, yes, get physically stronger, maintain my peaceful state of mind that made me so happy. Losing myself after a divorce has taught me so much. Wonderful. Well, sounds a great trip to Vietnam and Thailand. Love those countries. Um, oh, my goodness, Vietnamese coffee, I used to love. Um, Dr. Annie traveling to Miami and the Caribbean, start dating again. Oh, love all of these. Brilliant. Okay, so and this is a question I want to ask yourself. If you gave yourself permission to go after your dreams, this is what I'd accomplish in the next year. So what are you going to accomplish if you let go of those limitations? Let go of whether that's imposter syndrome, like Siobhan just saying, or let go of the fear, fear of being visible on social media, or let go of some kind of limitations or blocks, doubts that you have about yourself. If you let go of those, what would you accomplish over this next year? Miranda said, I pitched my docu-series. Great. So I have a little, kind of, there's a little bubble of, I keep thinking I want to pitch a TV show. And, that, and, and again, I have doubts about it. But maybe this is my year that I do it. Siobhan says, during my dream year, I conquered imposter syndrome. Fantastic. Fell in love. Got really strong and healthy. Held a successful solo exhibition. Deepened existing friendships, made lovely new ones, increased my income, learned to horse ride. Oh, love that for your dream year. Yes, put that on the vision board. Okay, so save these. Matt, I just achieved achieve financial freedom, being able to spend more time with my family and travel the world with them. Amazing, fantastic. So if you are in the UK, um, I've discovered this thing called Jack's Flight Club. And I saw a Facebook ad and I literally joined on Black Friday and I joined for a penny for three months. But it's about £29 for the year to join. And you get emailed every day, these amazing flights. So like literally flights, I was just looking at one earlier, like flights to Barbados for 300 pounds I mean like massive savings on they just tell you when there's all these cheap deals on flights anywhere and so um yeah so you can book really like really cheap deals to go on flights so rather than it being you know how we always say I want to travel more I want to do something and then it just doesn't happen. It sits on that list of, oh, it would be nice to do. But actually, when you have something like that, it really makes you go, oh, let's do it. And it makes it so much more possible because you suddenly start going, oh, OK, well, it's a no brainer. Of course, I'm going to do that. And then before you know it, you you are in that position where you've, you've booked that flight. So it's like, oh, well, now I've got to find a hotel. I've got to do the thing. But you've done it. And so, um, you know, that might be something if you want to travel more and you're in the UK, um, you know, that might be something um, to think about. Sandra says, I'm so jealous. I live in Western Australia and we're so far from anywhere. No cheap flight deals here. I, I, I having spent a good chunk of time in Australia, I know how expensive Australia is for flights. So I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah. But you get sunshine and you get being in Australia, which is a wonderful place to live. So yes, there's pros and cons. Um, so, um, but uh, um, yeah, so whatever your dreams may be. Okay, so, um, okay. Now I want you to think what, by the end of the year, what are you gonna be celebrating? What is the thing that you are going to be really looking at and saying, yes, I've done that. What are you going to be celebrating? So Meg says to stop thinking I'm not good enough, not worry about the negativity around me, thrive financially and in independently, to be emotionally stronger and follow my art, business and design dreams. Love that.
Okay, so now you've done a bit of, you know, bit of big thinking, which is, you know, got yourself excited about what is possible for this year. We're now going to move to the next stage of our little journey, which is um, doing the vision boards. Okay, da, 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 da. so um, for vision boards, um, we are going to um we are going to i'm just going to share the links with you so you've got them and what we're going to do is there is two vision boards basically there's one for a mobile phone and one for a desktop so you can do both of them um or you could but i would say start with one and then do the do the other one um we are i'm just sending so i've put both links in the chat for um for both of the vision boards. Um, and so you can access those. I'm, I'm just gonna share my screen again and we will, um, and we'll start, um, we'll go through this. So, okay, so we're gonna start with, there's the two of them so you can see, um, and you can, you should just be able to see that. Can you see that? Just checking. Um, so the mobile phone one or the laptop one. OK, and what you can do is uh, we'll start with the laptop one. So you can use this on a desktop for um, your, um, you know, your laptop, your work computer. I use it as kind of wallpaper and I use it as my screensaver. So um, it means that those images come up that's my screensaver. So I'm looking at it constantly. If I'm on, you know, a call to someone or I'm just doing something that pops up. Um, and, you know, my son looks at it constantly and we talk about it. And so it suddenly becomes, it's something that is there. It's that much more visible. Um, it is um, something that, you know, you can, you can really look at and make yours. So what you do is you're going to click on those links. So I'm just going to access the link too, and I'll just show you how it works. So you click on your link and I'll click on one and then it will bring up. So if you've used Canva and it will say use template. Okay. And so you're just gonna click and start using the template. And then you will save that version of the template as your own, okay? So save it as your own so it becomes your, your own vision board, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is you can add in these images. So if we go down here, I'm gonna show you, this is kind of more, more of my personalized one. And if I share this so you can see it as a presentation so you can, you can see it. So this is kind of my vision board. That's how it looks. OK. And so as you can see, I've got screenshots of my social media. So I've got, you know, so my LinkedIn and I've got on there, it says 100,000 followers. I don't have 100,000 followers. I have 12,000 followers. Um, and the same with my Instagram. Um, it, and, and you can see here this check, which, you know, has got you know, $3 million in it and signed the universe. So you're going to write your own check for your financial freedom. Um, and you're going to put on images. So I've got images here. There's my little boy at the center of it. Things like here, we've got some Lego, which for about having fun. Um, that's in the Cotswolds. So, you know, getting a dream house in the Cotswolds. Um, trips, I've got a trip to the Greek islands, to Paris, um, New York more adventures, going to Berlin. Um, I've got my book on there as, a, and so I just took a screenshot of the New York Times and then, and I'll show you how you do this. And then I put my book in that. So it became like, that's the reality of what's coming. Um, the same with adding numbers into my YouTube channel, more trips away, want to go hiking, um, eating, living healthily, words that mean something to me. Um, you know, so adding in all of those phrases that are important to you so that you start, so it becomes your own vision board, okay? So the things that matter to you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to this version here, okay? 
and I'll show you how you can swap out the images. So I've made you a vision board and then you can swap out images so that uh, ones that work for you. And as you can see here, there's also a check and you're going to put your name in it, how much you'd like to make in the business. And, you know, it's signed the universe to say it's coming. And you are going to add that to your vision board. OK, you can carry that around with you. You can start seeing it and thinking that this is your possibility. This is going to come true for you. OK, you're going to look at this every day. You're going to see it on your phone and it's going to come true. So to swap out an image, if you've not used Canva before, um, you can. So basically, let's see it on the side. If you look down the side, it says photos. Can you see there? Photos. So I click on photos and you can literally type in a word and add something in. So let's say we want to go, I'm just thinking like horse riding. Somebody, Siobhan said she wants to go horse riding. So I'm going to type horse riding. So we're now going to put an image in of horse riding into the vision board. So I'm going to click on one of these images, whatever image. Like So I'm going to click on this one. OK, can we, whatever image. And I'm going to just pull. Can you see I'm pulling and like I've clicked on it and pulling into there. And there we go. There's my shot of. So you can move it around. And if you double click on it, you can move the image along so you get more of kind of horse and person. And there you go. So you've got horse riding on your vision board. Um, now, pop some things in the chat of things if you're if if you need help. Bianca is here because Bianca is a whiz on Canvas, so she can really help you. Um, but you can you can start adding in some of those words, images. Like so, let's say you wanted to go to Costa Rica. If you if you put in Costa Rica, then images of Costa Rica come up. So you know you could um, so you can so it's really easy. Whereas I used to do vision boards where I cut out things from magazines, but I was kind of limited to the images in the magazines. Whereas this way, you get everything you want at your fingertips. So it's, and you actually use the vision board a lot more. So that's why I really love a digital version. Um, so you might want to put in a picture of this gorgeous sloth, for example, or, um, you know, so you would pull and pop in the sloth. Um, if you wanted um so if you wanted to do something like um you want to make more money so you can type in money and uh, images of money come up so you could you might decide you want to put that onto your vision boards so you you know but maybe also be specific say a number of what you want to you know what salary you what you want what um, what you want to be making in your business. So you're being really specific rather than just kind of, oh, I want to make more money, but tell the universe what you want. And so it's, that becomes, you know, it's so much easier to achieve that goal. Um, so if you, if you wanted to put this in, you could, you can literally, you can pop an image and click it straight on and make it smaller. So it goes onto the image somewhere or you can put it so that it goes into a specific image. It, you, you can do it either way. And some of those phrases that you wrote out. So there's, I've got some phrases written here, but you can, you literally, I, I'm doing command A or control A on a um, uh, PC to, and then you can type in your phrase. So um Laura had an amazing phrase that I've forgotten um that I was loving from earlier something about you are a miracle yeah um, remembering that I'm already a miracle I'll go back and see if I can find it <laughs> uh, okay so remembering the miracle that I am love that okay so I'm going to add this in here so um we're going to say remembering the miracle that I already um and so we can drag that up and so you can just have fun playing with this and um you know adding whatever images now you know how I've got these images of we'll start with the social media ones so if I were to go to my LinkedIn if you're not sure how to do this and I go to my LinkedIn and um 
if we're not connected on LinkedIn, we really should be. But we go, so we go to LinkedIn, let's go to my profile. And um, so I, I'm gonna do a screen grab of this. So I'm literally, here's my LinkedIn. Okay, so I've got my little screen grab, screenshot. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload that. So if you want to upload an image into Canva, so was it Sandra saying that she wanted to go and visit her best friend for her 50th? So upload an image of whether it's the screenshot of um, your, um, so here's my screenshot. So let's do this latest one. Um, so we'll upload this, okay. Um, but it might be you upload an image of your friend. And so, so I'm gonna pop in this into here. Okay, so there's my, actually, I'm gonna get rid of that one in a second. I'm gonna, so we'll put that one in. And so there's my screenshot that we're adding in, okay, for my LinkedIn, but I'm switching out the numbers. So I've got 12,000, but I'm changing it to 100,000. So I'm telling the universe, I want 100,000 followers this year on my LinkedIn. And so it's it's kind of you're putting it out there. You're making a statement. It's becoming a non-negotiable. Um, you know, so maybe it's, um, you know, you want to, um, you know, whatever it may be that, that it's that thing that you want to do. Um, Canva said, um, sorry, um, okay. Uh, let's have a look. So Bin is saying she can't see. So I'm on Canva Pro, but you should be able to see the images because you normally, then you just pay for them. Scroll up and down to have a look for, it might be it's in elements. So if you can't see it, you can always type in elements and they'll come up. So if you haven't got photos itself, type in elements and it will come up that way as well. Um, so, um, Let's have a look what else. Um, I'm trying to remember other things people were talking about. Okay, so I want to do DIY. So we could add in DIY. So I'll let you. So it might be. So I'm adding that in, DIY, I'm saying I want to. So whatever it is that is your thing. Now, when it comes to the image that we had of the check, so it's down below. So you have to be a little bit creative with this. So you're gonna add your name in. So you type, add your name. So here, Lucy, or, you know, so you put your name in um, and then, you say how much you'd like to make in your business. Okay, so, um, you know, 10 million, whatever it is that you want to say. And then you are going to see here when it says share, you're going to download that image. So rather than all four pages, you're going to download just image, I think it's four. I can't quite see because I've got all of you guys. So it's image four or three. Yeah, image three. So you're going to download image three. Okay. And we're going to download this one. And then you're going to re-upload it. And how that works is then it means you can add it in as an image that is um, that is for your um that you can then add onto your um, onto your vision board. Sandra said you can also get royalty free photos from Unsplash. Absolutely as well. Yes, um, Canva's not very expensive per month. I can't remember how much it is, but it means you get all of them and you don't have to pay. Uh, you you get and other benefits to it as well. Um, so, but that is a way. So if we then upload your check, you can start putting that on your vision board. Okay. And so suddenly your vision board comes alive and it's really worth spending that time 
of so you would upload it just here I'll show you how you do this you go to upload upload your file so the image of the check and then you pop it onto your vision board and it you know suddenly all of those things you start seeing them in the flesh um and so you can um you know that's why adding in your social media putting writing that book you know so that's why I ha have a screenshot of the New York Times and I've put my book in there because it's like it becomes real I'm also on the Sunday Times you know so I'm covering both bases um you know whether it's um doing um what else have I done in the past like media opportunities I had a couple of years ago I um I had um a screenshot of um sky news and um wanting to be on you know sky news as an expert i don't want to do that anymore but that was definitely something i'll see if i can find it somewhere um that was definitely something that was in the mix that i had on my vision board it it wouldn't work for me practically anymore i don't live in london so but it you know you can you can do um just trying to find it for you so you can see it you know so you can make all of these different options um, you know, I'd say <laughs> there's me. I'm just scrolling down all of these different images. So many different images here. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is a vision board. See all of these dinosaurs. That's my son's vision board. <laughs> so, um, yeah, on my vision board, I've got, here's some vision board images. Let's look for some I, I've got at the side. So swimming, that was definitely one wanting to go swimming. Um, you know, I wanted had different images of I, this is the kind of sofa I want for my house so you can see uh, these these are my vision board from last year um so and, and then I had an image here so this is Oprah so I literally so you could do this so, so let's say this Oprah image and you could pop an image of yourself so I'm just any old image and then there's a great tool with Canva where you can remove so you go to edit image and you can do background remover. So suddenly you can take away your background. Okay, so suddenly it's like you can pop up anywhere. So there's an image of Oprah with Elizabeth Gilbert. And instead it could be, oh, there you're in the conversation too. <laughs> and so suddenly it's like, oh, there's me hanging out with Elizabeth Gilbert and Oprah. And, and you can put that on your vision board. You don't wanna necessarily put me on your vision board, but you can, you can start, believing that it's possible seeing yourself alongside other people and um you know so suddenly it takes those goals that you have out of being something where it's kind of ethereal it doesn't feel quite real to something that is absolutely possible for you and it it takes it so that it's it you know it, it's another dimension and I'm just going to share just so you, we've got the other vision board. Um, so there's the mobile phone version. OK, so you can use this template as well. And it's very similar. So you can use basically you can take it's just obviously a different size, but you can take some of those images, same feelings and thoughts about what you want, but put in images. So it's it's basically screensaver size. So it means that you can have it as wallpaper on your mobile phone. Um, and people always look at my mobile phone and say, oh my goodness, it's so it looks so cluttered with um uh with the um with background. And I just I'm gonna stop sharing, I'm gonna show you. Um so it's there it is. Can you see it? So, but it's in the background, and it means okay, that I am looking at it every day. I'm looking at it and it those goals become a reality because I see them and it's like, oh, they're part of the things that I want to achieve, the things that I want to do. And I look at them and it's like, you know, there's lots of travel on there, um, people I want to be connected to. So I've got an image of vision from Mind Valley. I've no idea why, but I he's like on my vision board that I want to be connected to him. I want to get to know him and, and work with him, him in some capacity. And so I've put that on my vision board. So it might be just people you don't know that you want to connect with. Um, or, you know, like I was saying, I wouldn't mind doing something. I, so this is really strange, but um, 
I was out for a run one day and I um and this man was cutting wood I I know this is sounds random but this I live in the countryside and so he was chopping logs and he said I know you and I said do you and then and he said oh I know you from Instagram (laughs) it's like oh my god okay and anyway then I get chatting to it turns out that he is a screenwriter for Netflix and he basically has written early days of Netflix has written various films that have become really successful so now he has like golden ticket of Netflix where he can basically pitch anything and they say yes but he he was telling me that he wants to give back and do more community work and like help other people and he's and he's somebody that's now like oh I feel like I want to pitch to Netflix and it's only when you start and the thing is that I actually have like quite a few people who um like I, I know a lot of people who did like Grand Tour with Jeremy Clarkson and various big shows on Netflix. So it's not a massive leap for me to do it. But I so um, but it's it's like, oh, am I actually going to start like putting it out there and thinking about it and seeing what's possible? And it's only when you start those nuggets of those ideas that things become possible. If you say to yourself, oh, it's never gonna happen, it's not possible, then you shut it down. It might not happen straight away, it might take me 10 years, and it, it might be, for me, it's a bit of confidence and everything else. But um, but it's it's doing those things. So, you know, do you wanna put that logo of, whether it's Mind Valley or whether it's Netflix to write your own show or create something or whatever it may be, um you know so it's putting those ideas on somewhere that you're looking at and you see it um and the more that you see it the more that you feel that it's possible and so this is the thing that it takes it from just new year's resolutions that we write in a drawer and they get stuck in a desk drawer and we don't look at them all year this is like a living breathing thing that you are looking at every day and i find throughout the year I look at it and there might be some things that I go I really don't want to do that actually or I really want to do that and so you take note of the things that you do want to do but the other things where you're maybe not so bothered about that you think actually I'm actually I I don't want to do that I realize I don't want to do it you can make room and add something in that you really want to do and so um you know it just makes everything come alive um so uh um it is that's what makes it very very exciting um okay so um i would please send me your vision boards i'd love to see them share them share them on social media um you know because um you know i think the more that we can support each other the more that we can um you know have create those visions if you are feeling stuck on Canva, Bianca is around here, I'm here as well. So if you've got any questions, you want any help, otherwise, you know, the the amazing thing about Canva is that you can, you can either add in your own images, or you can just search for images. And um, it becomes, you know, it, it, you know, you can really have lots of fun with it. And um, be creative. That's the joy of it. Um, And, um, and, you know, it, it, it takes on this whole new dimension, which is which is such fun. Um, okay, so um, any other questions, any thoughts from anybody? I'll share that image back again, just while there's any, if there's any other questions. Back on this one. So you can really add in I'll take off myself and Oprah for now. (laughs) Maybe I'll make it smaller. Let me just, maybe I'll add it in somewhere here. Let me just look. Put it in there. And I'll put me so I'm a bit smaller as well. In there with, oh, now this is a tricky thing. When you're adding an image over an image, sometimes you you have to be really, so sometimes you use the up key. Okay, so any other, okay, let me just see if there's any other questions from anyone. Um, Okay, well, um, 
no more questions I think from anyone so that's all good so I just have fun be creative as you like and share those images I'd love to see them um you know of of what you want to create and really excited to see what you build um I can't wait to hear more okay all right have an amazing so when it comes to saving your own so make a copy go to make a copy and save your own okay um and I'm excited to see what you create so don't forget to do that all right make a copy um <clears throat> and um thank you everybody have a wonderful wonderful day all right take care bye bye bye